Now, the Financial Times has reported that the Prime Minister will again be cleared of breaking the ministerial code and of misleading his adviser. Our political correspondent, Ione Wells, is with me, who has been tracking all of this. What have we found out? Well, this story is really all about this £52,000 donation from the Tory peer Lord Brownlow to the Prime Minister to help pay for the refurbishment of his Downing Street flat and whether that donation was properly declared. Now, back in May, the Prime Minister's independent adviser on standards, Lord Guite, cleared the Prime Minister of any conflict of interest, of breaking the ministerial code, saying that the Prime Minister seemed unaware that Lord Brownlow had paid for this out of his own pocket. But then, earlier this month, uh, it transpired in a report by the Electoral Commission that the Prime Minister had sent a WhatsApp message to Lord Brownlow in November last year asking for more money. Now, this prompted Lord Guy to reopen his inquiry, also meant that the Prime Minister faced allegations of misleading his own adviser. Now, today, the Financial Times is reporting that Lord Guyte has now seen all these relevant WhatsApp messages and uh, that the Prime Minister is set to be cleared again of breaching the ministerial code uh, and of misleading his adviser, but that his conduct is set to be criticised. Now, I've been told as well that a number of letters between the Prime Minister and between Lord Guyte about this matter over the last few weeks are set to be published in early January on the government website website. As it stands at the moment, the Cabinet Office and Downing Street won't comment on any speculation. But in response to these reports today, Labour uh, have accused the Prime Minister of keeping busy writing letters to sort out his own mess uh, in the midst of what they describe as a cost of living crisis for the UK. Ioni, many thanks once again for the latest on that. Ioni Wells.